They're from the lands of cowboys, cornfields, and coffee, oceans and orange groves, windmills and wooden shoes in a city set on a hill that can't be hidden. Amidst the DNA of their diversity is the commonality of Christ, and they came with purpose. A purpose that drove them through thousands of pages of readings, gauntlets of scripture memorization, late night calls, and tough questions. All for this, 18 days of unknowns, 18 days in paradise, the Venice of America. They came to be pushed physically, emotionally, and spiritually into the best version of themselves possible. Being a Christian isn't easy. They came to take ownership of their faith, become spiritual leaders, and form a lifelong brotherhood. They all arrived with a familiar look, reminiscent of those that came before them. Curious, excited, nervous, and hyper self-aware, but they're different. They came to make their own mark and a legacy of faith having children. Together they manned a 47-foot catamaran sailing the Atlantic over the hidden gem of America, the underwater Florida State Park system. They conquered it by sail from above and by fin from below. They glided through coral jungles and met creatures more colorful than Joseph's cloak. They discovered deserted islands and made them home for a day. They conquered shipwrecks and found shells you've never seen. They dove deep into spiritual waters, learning how to turn their thought life into their prayer life and how to treat a woman right. At port, six young men got on that cat, and four days later, one group of brothers got off. Together, they dropped their guard at the gate of transparency and discussed how to become men who live a pure life, a life of zero compromise. Not tomorrow, right here, right now. Together, they spent weeks soaking in the wisdom of a lifetime from missionaries, evangelists, teachers, leaders, and authors. Together, they put down the milk diet and ate like kings, then ate more. Together, they changed and decided to do something about it. Their first-class musicians, brilliant minds, and relational, joy-filled hidden treasures and servants, they're held to a higher standard. They're dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Slaves to righteousness, they walk in newness of life. They're cashing in on the free gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, and they want to tell you about it. They're from the lands of cowboys, cornfields, and coffee, oceans and orange groves, windmills and wooden shoes in a city set on a hill that can't be hidden. They're the band of brothers in Christ. They're the 2014 Omega Band of Brothers in Christ. A time is coming and has come, Jesus said, when you will be scattered, each to his own home. They are going home. They are changed by the word to change the world.